Well, my day job is still keeping me busy this week. But before we get to that, let's check a few things on Pearl. Hi, I'm Russ. I'm rebuilding a 1977 Mobile Traveler motorhome. This is all about the MT and me. Welcome back to the MT and me. We finally got a pretty good rain here in our area. And all it did was show me that Pearl has still got her share of leaks. We've still got several places on the roof that cave in or water ponds. And as a result, we get water inside. And like we pointed out time and time again, can't do anything to the interior until we get the roof sealed up. That's going to be a long-range project, but there is one thing that we can work on, uh, I think, sometime in the very near future here, especially once I get all this upgrade in my day job taken care of within the next few weeks. What I'm talking about is bracing on each side of the interior. Now, right now, we still have center braces here, and there's one near the back that are keeping the middle of the roof pushed up. That's still leaving places where the roof sags and water ponds. In order to get that roof pushed up, we're going to have to push from the sides on this metal framework where they have a brace running down each side here, and there's one in the same place over on the other side. If we push up in these areas, then that is going to actually push the entire roof up and hopefully take care of the sagging part in the middle. Not sure if it's going to work. This is one of the recommendations from one of my main gnomes, Glenn. So, we're going to give that a try in the next few weeks and see if it makes a difference. For now, I can hear drip, drip, drip. So, I'll bet you we've still got some water ponding up on the roof. Let's go check. Yeah, just as I feared. There's not a lot of water ponding up here, but we do have some. And it's still staying right around this center area, which is the opening where the air conditioner was. From there all the way to the back. And along the very back seam, we have some serious dips where water ponds up quite easily along that back seam. That may be a problem to uh, brace it out. We'll just have to wait and see. But in the meantime, I'm hoping that if we can push up along the sides, on each side, that's going to help the middle and maybe, just maybe, stop some of this collection of water on the roof so that Pearl can be sealed up on top. Now, of course, this problem on the roof is nothing new. We've looked at it before, we've talked about it before. You probably remember we've tried several things to work on stopping those leaks. Bracing it up, covering with a tarp, uh, getting everything off of it, all the weight off of it. And right now we have it sealed over with plastic. Maybe we need to look at sealing it more. Maybe, I don't know, put a tarp on top. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below because uh, it's gonna be a few weeks to maybe another month before we can actually get up there and do anything about it. That's not going to happen today. In fact, <laughs> not going to be able to do anything to Pearl today because I got plenty of work waiting on me in my day job. Well, the work on the studio upgrade is continuing. Remember this and this? It's time to do that micro soldering that I have not been looking forward to.
And that is how it's done. Now here's hoping I have all the wires on the right pins. These old eyes don't see the numbers as well as they used to, but I think it should work. Well, finally, we got a bit of good news. We got the parts we were waiting for. These little adapters. So maybe now we can get our computers hooked up and really get down to the nuts and bolts of getting this new system installed. Create a new folder with all the waves. What folder are you in? Maggie. So all, all of the waves files and the folder that is open on the computer right now. Can you take them out of this folder and put them into 
a different one, create a new folder, take all the ways out, because they don't have tagging. Okay, I'll take care of that. Hey, I just said what? She just said find out about the SPT files. What did she say to figure out? You want him to do something about figuring out the SPT files? or you... No. She's got that. Good okay. deal. All right, then. Same time, same station. <laughs> okay. Well, I think all of the wiring harnesses have been made for all three of our studios. And I believe that we are at the point where when the time comes, we can switch the wiring over, disconnect the old systems, hook up the new systems, and uh, everything will work. <laughs> yes, I'm confident of that. Uh, oh, there will be bugs. There always are. But um, I think we're in pretty good shape. What remains now is the final adjustments within the computer systems themselves. Getting the audio that's loaded up now into the right places, the right folders, and get everything organized and building the, uh, we call them clocks. They're the sub-programs that actually operate the system throughout the day. Uh, once all that's done, we should be able to start switching our stations over. and. Uh, we're sitting here in the studio of 102.7 The Light. It's going to be the first station that we actually switch over from the old computer system to the new one. And then we'll do all sports radio AM 800 after that. And once we get those two working, we'll start focusing on my station, 1049, Today's Country. It's a little more complicated. But before we do any of those three, We've got the system installed in our Q-Light FM studio, and uh, sometime in the next day or two, we're going to see about switching over to the automation system and the live program to see how it is to actually handle this new system, because we all have a learning curve to get through. So, the work goes on, and uh, we will just keep you updated right here on the MT and me. So, another little inside look at what's going on at my day job, keeping me from working on Pearl, my motorhome. Maybe, maybe next week. I'm not promising anything. But I hope you'll stay tuned to find out. You can subscribe below. There's a link for you to click. There's also a link to buy me a coffee if you'd like to help with the Pearl Restoration Project. I assure you all the money that comes into there will go to help get Pearl up and running again. Okay, uh, Remember to give us a thumbs up, like and share this video, and join us every Sunday morning here on the MT and Me. Thank you so much for watching this and for your support. I'm Russ, and we will talk later. Okay, thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, so she's going to keep working online. Yeah, exactly. Okay.